And then I have the opportunity, the Honourable Member from Ottawa South. Mr. Speaker, the International Day of Parliamentarism is celebrated every year on June 30th. This year, June 30th, also marks the 135th anniversary of the Interparliamentary Union, the IPU. Having begun as a small group of parliamentarians in 1889, today the IPU is a thriving international organization of 180 national parliaments open to 46,000 parliamentarians. While Canada first joined the IPU in 1912, the current Canadian group was established in 1960. As President of the Canadian Group and of the IPU Standing Committee on UN Affairs, I have the privilege of experiencing firsthand the incredible work the IPU does to make the world a better place, especially in relation to peace, democracy and human rights. On behalf of all 130 Canadian members of the Canadian Group, congratulations to the IPU on its 135th anniversary. The Honourable Member from Lethbridge. Well, after nine years, it's just as we suspected. This Prime Minister is not worth the crime and certainly not worth the corruption. Recently, the Auditor General reported that more than 180 conflicts of interest were committed at the Prime Minister's Green Slush Fund. Corrupt directors actually funneled taxpayer money to the tune of $336 million. That's $336 million to companies that those directors own wow. themselves. And so if that's not a textbook definition of corruption, I'm not sure what is. Conservatives have successfully pushed to try to bring action forward in order to make sure that this corruption is exposed. And now the RCMP are investigating it. They've also informed us that they have the ability to actually get that money back. It just takes a little bit of political will. Canadians certainly deserve that much at least. The Prime Minister must get that taxpayer money back and he must act now. Only common sense Conservatives will continue to demand transparency from the Prime Minister and end this type of Liberal corruption that exists right here in Ottawa. May Canadians be well served by the next government. The Honourable Member from New Brunswick Southwest. Mr. Speaker. Corey. After nine years of raising taxes, this Liberal NDP government is doing it again with a new job-killing tax on health care, homes, farms, small businesses and fishing communities. You heard me right. The taxaholics are again digging deeper into the pockets of Canadian taxpayers. The NDP Liberals are raising taxes on doctors during a doctor shortage, farmers while we have a food price crisis, home builders in a housing shortage and small businesses during a cost of living crisis that this federal government created. To them, hard work pursuing the Canadian dream should be punished, not rewarded. A common sense conservative government will fix this mess. We will introduce lower, fairer and simpler taxes to restore the Canadian dream. We'll make sure hard work delivers strong paychecks that can buy affordable food, energy in homes in safe neighbourhoods. Conservatives will bring it home. The Honourable Member for Glengarry Prescott Russell. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to acknowledge the work of an exceptional employee of the House of Commons broadcasting team who will be retiring in the next few days after more than 32 years. Lorraine Henderson began, began her career here in 1992. She quickly earned the trust of her colleagues by setting high broadcasting standards 